baseball was changing. But it wasn't going away. Michiana was just getting ready for a new generation of stars. Some of them were playing on world-class high school, American Legion, or semi-pro teams. Some of them were playing for Holy Cross grade school. It's a game that has great lessons because of the teamwork that is required. My dad always said the prettiest play in all of sport is the double play. And part of its beauty is that you can have a, an Irish shortstop, an African-American second baseman, and a, and a Mexican first baseman. It doesn't matter. Kernan, who played ball for Notre Dame, a prisoner of war in Vietnam, devoted his professional life to serving the community he grew up in and loved so much, but never lost his love for the game of baseball. He's just one of the guys that uh, has goals, uh, understands what vision he wants to see, and uh, goes for it. Kovaleski, he'd spend the rest of his life teaching kids in this region that baseball was like life, tough, maybe even cruel at times, and would live long enough to know that Mayor Roger Parent and other community leaders were planning for a new era of professional baseball in the region, a stadium and a team to play there. But Kovaleski died just a few years before opening day and never knew that when the South Bend White Sox took the field for the first time in 1988, They'd do so in a magnificent new stadium, named for the Pennsylvania coal miner, one of South Bend's favorite sons, who won the 1920 World Series and wanted to live among the families and fans of this community more than anywhere else in the world. The new mayor, Joe Kernan, future governor of the entire state. South Bend's new professional team started churning out major league players one after the other more than ever before. Divisional and league championships time after time. And stories like Mike Cameron's, a player like Kovaleski before him, who no one expected to make it, let alone set record after record in the major leagues and start his own foundation to help inner city kids. Cameron still talks about his time in South Bend and how special the fans are. Or Clay Zavada, who played for just one year before his father died of a heart attack and he returned home to run the family farm. Washed up after one season, Savada went back to school, worked odd jobs to make ends meet, fought his way back to baseball and became one of the most admired players in all of Major League Baseball. A lot of times I go into Major League spring training and guys that have been away from South Bend for three or four years and they get a little high on themselves, I come walking in and I said, oh, remember South Bend? Now you guys are making, you know, five, 10, 15 million dollars a year. You're still South Bend to me. The game is old and we look at it really as being our game. It is the American pastime. The game, the players, and the whole experience of professional baseball was a hit in this region again. And then the team made a bold move adopted a symbol of the region that would cement the local relationship forever. The Sox became the South Bend Silverhawks, named after one of the most popular cars ever produced by the thousands of area employees who worked for Studebaker, including the ones who played on the Studebaker factory teams. But in 2005, the owners of the team who lived out of state offered to sell the Silverhawks to a group in Illinois. That's when Kernan put a group of local owners together to purchase the team and keep it here in South Bend where it belongs. I wanted us to have uh, minor league ball knowing what it means to the people that live here and the people that uh, are going to live here. Uh, it's an attraction. There's nobody else in this community that wears South Bend on their front of their jersey. A community that has opportunities for families, the minor league baseball being one of them. Be part of the team. It is a place to enjoy. Professional baseball in a setting so unique, a family can picnic together in left field while watching a future star who will never forget the men, the women, and children who come back time after time. The 10th man at Stanley Kovaleski Regional Stadium.
where those rags to riches stories still happen. The South Bend Silverhawks, a professional team in our own backyard, where couples on dates, companies like yours, and moms and dads can experience one of America's most enduring and most hopeful of all pastimes. An evening at the ballpark, in the heart of America's Midwest, where you are the 10th man. And this is your team.